Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to do something that I usually don't do and that is that I'm today going to show you a server. Uh, like I said, I usually don't do this but this server absolutely blew my mind. It is so amazing that I had to make a video of it and uh, I want to share it with you. And uh, like you have probably already guessed from the title, this is the Westeros craft server that tries to recreate Westeros, better known as the land in which the Game of Thrones series takes place. Um, I have seen the series, not I have not read the books, um, but this is just so astounding. And even if you have not, um, even if you haven't even heard of Game of Thrones yet, it's a series, like I said. But even if you haven't heard of it, you can still watch this video because. The buildings and the creations are so damn beautiful and um, if you have seen everything you will recognize it and it's just stunning. Now here is uh, this one tree, oh I forgot the name of it. Um, of course I'm in Winterfell right now which is a uh, uh, home of the House of the Starks so that is really really awesome. One of these is the Tower of Branfell of O oh, and uh, slight 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 spoiler alert. Um, I will not try. I will try to not tell you too much of the story, but I will give you some names and such. So, if you are planning on um, like actually reading it, reading the books, or watching this series, I may spoil a few names. But um, in any case, I won't tell anything of the story. But um, this is only one part. Of Winterfell, what I've been in right now. Um, I actually had a hard time recognizing a lot of this, but. Nonetheless, it looks really, really amazing. Now let's go to a part which uh, some of you will probably recognize a bit better, especially if you have watched the uh, second season of Game of Thrones, the series, and um, that is Heron Hall, also known to me as a sort of prison thingy. It's warp Heron Hall with one L, and there we go. Now we're in Heron Hall, and this is again. Utterly, utterly amazing. This is where all the torturing from the Lannisters take place. And um, it's just so well recreated. It's so big it has a hard time <laughs> loading, but nonetheless. I'll actually fly around it a bit so it can load, but look at these buildings. Um, it's just amazing. I think this indeed, yeah, this is where the Lannisters were, especially in the second season. And the, the the detail is so utterly amazing. I can't really understand how they made it this big, even with modding devices like World Edit and, and stuff. This is still absolutely incredible. Let me just fly through here for a while, just to give you an idea how insanely huge this all is. Just look at it, it's amazing. Now I haven't told you yet I think, but you can also go to this server yourself. There is no whitelist, you can just join it. The IP is mc.westeroscraft.com and I will put that in the description. Now let's uh, go to a different place as I think you've seen this amazing building and um, just place in general. But um, let's go to Pike. I think uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, home of the uh, Greyjoys, the House of the Greyjoys, and it's it's amazing. But let's take a look. Now this is a very very accurate recreation once again. Um, the Grey Lords, of course, they're Islanders or. Uh, at least they do everything by ship and such <laughs> and this is their beautiful castle and it is really really close to what it looks like in the series on these nice cliffs and um, once more just amazing and this isn't it this town also goes on here and um, I think this actually also is one map you, uh, you don't need to use warps you can just walk from one town to another which is uh, very very accurate to the actual Westeros map uh, that is used in the series and it's uh, stunning. Speaking of the map and 
Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Speaking of the map, I will show you what uh, Westeros actually looks like, and maybe you'll indeed uh, recognize it once more. Ouch, rain, let me turn off. Yep, yep. So that at least turns off the sound. But um, here we have Westeros. Um, I believe this is uh, from the Dothraki. And we have the wall right there. The wall, I will show you that in a second. That is my favorite part about the server, the wall. It is absolutely stunning. And I may say these kind of words too often, but I, I this server just blew my mind right up. It's insane. And you can see all these types of warps that are already done. This server is not finished. Um, King's Landing is currently being remade. But um, that doesn't matter. I love the fact that they're still working on it and wow. Let's just go to Castle Black which is um, at the wall. Of course this resembles the wall and um, I will just show you. So here I have the castle and you just walk right here when all of the sudden in a second the wall shows up. The wall. I can't imagine how much time I must have been going into this, into creating this. And um, this wall also is huge. It goes up for ages and it is so wide and big and enormous that it actually makes my computer lag. <laughs> I'm currently actually using my laptop to record this, but it does fine, I guess. See how high, how high this goes? And it goes the stairway all the, all the way to the top. Just look at that. And this goes on for a long time that way and that way, but um, it just can't render it because of its size. It slowly does, but this absolutely baffles me every single time. Oop, there we go. Now we're on top of the wall, and we can look out here into the north. Maybe we can spot some wildlings. <laughs> Alright, let me just go down here and once again gaze at the incredible size of this wall. And over here should be just a big forest, just like in the map. Also really nice detail, that right there is the red comet. I won't spoil anything about it, but um, if you've seen the series or, watched or read the books you will know it. And, like I said, this is just a huge forest, which belongs to the wildlings. I can actually show you King's Landing, but um, that, like I said, is currently being remade, so it doesn't look that great. Nonetheless, I can just show you how it looks like, how it looks. But um, here is the wall, and there are floating things everywhere to just, I don't know, <laughs> to, s to say if things are being rebuilt or done but um, still I'm, I'm fairly sure this is still going to be amazing as well now what I can show you as well is for example Casterly Rock which is the uh, belongs to the House Lannister home of the Lannisters and here we've got this huge cave right here, but um, there also is a town. Very fancy town, because of course the Lannisters are the richest of Westeros. And th this also goes on forever. It is just absolutely amazing. Now, I don't want to uh, make this video too damn long, so um, I'm just going to uh, stop right here. There is way, way, way too many I could possibly show you, so you're going to have to take a look uh, yourself. It's mc.westeroscraft.com. Um, like I said, these are only, what have I done, four towns maybe, five, five places, but um, as you could already see at the map, I'll go there again. Every little thing here that is a, is a new warp where you can go to and check out things from Westeros. It is absolutely stunning and I definitely recommend you 
to go check it out. Uh, go, just go to the server yourself, try out different warps, see if you can recognize it because um, it is absolutely amazing. Let's go to Crossroads. <laughs> um, yeah, like like I said, go check it out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time.